No one can fail to have noticed the impact Everton have left on the summer transfer window so far. Under the guidance of their new majority shareholder, Farad Moshiri, a series of big money signings have arrived, including Davy Clarsen, Michael Keane and Jordan Pickford, all of which seems a stark contrast to the days of David Moyes when the £15 million signing of Marouan Fellaini in 2008 felt like a rare foray into the transfer market. That same year also saw the birth of Manchester City as a force in football, with the Abu Dhabi United group purchasing 90% of Manchester City's shareholdings in September 2008 for £210 million. The move transformed the Blues overnight into the richest football club in the world and began a transformation of the club from top to bottom. Ironically, the owner of the investment company, Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahin, had considered the Toffees prior to choosing Manchester City as the beneficiary of his investment. With their new rich owner came a similar slew of signings. Carlos Tevez, Emmanuel Adebayor, Gareth Barry, Roque Santa Cruz, Colo Torre and Jolion Lescott all joined the club, with the club's summer outlay estimated to have cost just over £125 million. Tiring of Mark Hughes in December, the club appointed Roberto Mancini, a manager with star power and several Serie A titles to his name. Rarely giving public interviews, Mansour broke this habit to clarify that he was not merely seeking short-term gain. We are building a structure for the future, he said, not just a team of all-stars. It is at this moment that we begin to see the parallels between the blue of Manchester and the blue of Merseyside. Speaking to TalkSport, majority owner Farhad Moshiri said, For our club to compete in the northwest of England, which is the new Hollywood of football, with Guardiola, Mourinho and Klopp, we need a star to stand on the touchline, so we got Komen. We needed to have a strong balance sheet, so I've paid the debts, so we have a very strong balance sheet, we are very flexible financially. And we need a big stadium, there's no question about it. These are the three priorities that we had. The arrival of new players has drastically shifted the expectation at Goodison Park, and while the financial impact has been reduced by the sale of Romelu Lukaku to Manchester United, the significant rise in wage bill is a mark of Everton's intent. However, the Toffees face a different landscape to the one that Manchester City did. When the citizens embarked on their ambitious ascent, there was less competition atop the Premier League. Manchester United, Chelsea and Arsenal were the only teams consistently finishing in the top four and this allowed Manchester City to establish themselves in the Champions League and attract better players as a consequence. Unfortunately for Evertonians, the rise of Tottenham Hotspur and Liverpool under Maurizio Pochettino and Jurgen Klopp respectively has made the top four an even more hotly contested aspect of the league. The fact both Manchester United and Chelsea have purchased players costing more than £65 million this summer also highlights the growing financial disparity in the league, with sustainability difficult to achieve with consistent high spending. Moshiri, a British-Iranian businessman, is estimated to have a net worth of $2.2 billion and has spoken ambitiously when it comes to investment. We have no restrictions to spend. The manager is totally committed and ruthless. If a player is not up to it, he uses another player and eventually he buys one. I support him. The job of the owner and chairman is simply to hire and fire a manager. The rest is down to him. Once we hire a manager, we back him. He keeps his counsel. Whether the club can maintain that approach remains to be seen. Manchester City has struggled to integrate their youth product since the takeover and that will be another bridge Everton has to cross in their attempts to become one of English football's elite sides. A project dripping with ambition and intent, just like for Manchester City in 2009, the work starts now for Everton and Coman.